Number 20, what are the pH and pOH of a solution of 2.0 molarity HCl, which ionizes completely? Okie dokie. So we just have to find the pH and the pOH of 2.0 molarity HCl. Now they did give us a little hint here. They did say that the HCl is going to ionize completely, but whenever you see that you have HCl, you know, something should be going off in your mind that says, wait a minute, this is one of my special compounds. And HCl is a strong acid. There are only six strong acids on this earth. And those are these right here. And HCl is right on it. So we should memorize our six strong acids because all of them are going to ionize completely. And that tells us, you know, the sequence of how we're going to run this equation or do this problem. So the next thing is, is we just have to show the ionization, right? What does HCl break down into? Well, HCl breaks down, well, breaks down 100% into two ions. But the thing is now, what are the two ions? Well, here is the H, that's the acidic proton, the H plus. So the break has to be, I mean, there's only two elements. So the, the break has to be between H and Cl. So it would be H plus, and then Cl minus. Now they did say that we started off with 2.0 molarity of HCl. But how are we going to know how much H plus and Cl minus we have? Well, at the end of the day, we're not going to have any of this. And all of the two molarity is going to be distributed between H plus and Cl minus. But it's not, um, actually, let me just say a common misconception is that the total molarity would be divvied up between one and one, making two. But molarity is not additive. The way that we're going to figure out what the correct molarities are is looking at the uh, coefficients. Of this balanced equation, there was one HCl for every one H plus and for every one Cl minus. So look, all the numbers have to be the same. So if you start off with two molarity, and it's a one to one, that means that whatever number this is, the H plus has to be the same. So since you started off with two molarity, the H plus is also two molarity. And one to one, that means that the chloride ion would also be two molarity. Now, we only care about two things. We want to find out the pH and the pOH of this problem. Now, notice that we're in acid world. I only have red colors here. So we're not going to be dealing with any bases just yet. I don't have any information. So it turns out that the pH is the negative log of the H plus concentration. And, it, and that's the only number that I care about. I just do this little breakdown to just make sure that I'm understanding it correctly, but I don't care about HCl and I don't care about Cl minus. The only thing that I care about is that H plus because the H plus is what gives me the pH. So pH equals negative log of 2.0. So let's find out that pH first. Calci time, negative log of 2.0. Whoa, this is a negative value, which is totally okay. This just means that it's, I mean, it's like off the charts. Literally, it's off the charts, <laughs> acidic. So don't get this on your hand. It will burn and skin will be, you know, coming off. But anyway, <laughs> the total number of sig figs here is the number of sig figs after the decimal. So it'd be three, zero. Okay. Crazy low value on the pH scale, which indicates that it's way acidic. So we found out the first number. Now we just have to find out the pOH. And now we're gonna use this equation because I just found out the pH. I'm going to use the pOH, or I'm gonna find out the pOH, and 14 is 14. Now. This equation we could only do if we're at room temperature. That means that we should be at 25 degrees Celsius. Now in the problem, they didn't state that we're at room temperature, but honestly, there would be no other way to do this problem without 
assuming that it's room temperature. So I'm going to assume that it's room temperature and I could use that equation. So pH plus pOH equals 14. If I just want to solve for pOH and just rearrange that formula, it would be pH equals pH, actually no, 14 minus the pH. And then, you know, the reds go with the reds and the blues go with the blues. That was a little bit, that was a little bit way off. So now here we go. pOH equals 14 minus a negative 0 0.30. So pOH is also off the charts because technically it should end at 14, but this one is a little bit more just indicating that it's like, you know, ridiculously base uh, acidic. High numbers on the pOH scale represent acid. And that's it. Those are your two answers. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Just make sure that, you know, the word gets back to me and that I'm doing my job properly. So just let me know. Love talking to you guys, and I hope you guys are having a great day out there. Let's keep studying hard. I'm rooting for you guys on your next test and quiz, and I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.